Okay then guys, welcome back again to another Foxtech video. And in this one, we're gonna discuss how you can connect Apple Watch messages to your iPhone. This process is quite simple because the Apple Watch and iPhone are designed to work seamlessly together. However, there are a few things and settings you need to configure to ensure everything works properly. Let's dive into the details. First, it's important to understand that your iPhone and Apple Watch use the same Apple ID. This tight integration means that most of what happens on your iPhone will also be mirrored on your Apple Watch. If you've already set up iMessage on your iPhone, your Apple Watch will act as an extension of this, allowing you to use messages on both devices. To get started with some other settings, you need to also open up the Watch app on your iPhone and once inside, navigate to the Messages section. Here you have two main options for how messages appear on your watch. You can either mirror your uh, iPhone settings or customize them specifically for your watch. If you want your messages to appear on your Apple Watch exactly as they do on your phone, select the option to mirror your iPhone. This ensures that notifications, replies and other settings are synchronized between these two devices. However, if you want to customize how messages work on your Apple Watch, you can do that too. In the messages section of the watch app, you can just adjust the settings for notifications like haptic alerts, default replies and sounds and more. This allows you to tailor the messaging experience on your watch to suit your preferences. One thing to keep in mind is that there can sometimes be a slight delay between receiving messages on your iPhone and seeing them on your Apple Watch. This is a normal and often depends on whether your Apple Watch has a cellular connection on or relies entirely on your iPhone's connection. If your watch is connected to the internet via cellular, then the messages should sync quickly. If it relies on your iPhone's connection, there might be a brief delay, especially if your iPhone is not nearby. So if you notice a significant delay or issues that are somehow messing up with your messages, there are a couple of steps you can take in this case. At first, you should make sure both your iPhone and Apple Watch are updated to the latest versions of their respective operating systems, and this often includes bug fixes and improvements that can resolve synchronization issues. So this is essentially all that you need to know about it. Hope you liked this video and hope you found it helpful. If you did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe below, and I will catch you in the future. For now, peace out.